Hello everyone, I'm Gabriela Ortiz, Professor at Tecnológico de Monterrey in Mexico, and I will be presenting our research in implementing mentoring communities under the Tech 21 educational model to ensure the resilience of female students in STEM areas. Female participation in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics STEM has enormous benefits for society. Women represent less than 20% of professionals employed in engineering. According to UNESCO, women are underrepresented in STEM fields in most countries, accounting for less than 30% of employment in research and experimental development. The presence of women in STEM-related jobs is directly related to their participation in university STEM majors which is why it is relevant to understand the phenomenon of enrollment and dropout of young women in universities. Considering this information and our institutions involvement in higher education in Mexico, we sought to study the behavior and trends of women enrolled in the School of Engineering and Sciences. Here is shown that from 2013 to 2021, Although women have a higher percentage of completion in their university studies, there was a higher dropout rate for women in the first year of university. Through this research, we seek to evaluate the reasons for the desertion and permanence of female students. We aim to study the perceptions of the first generation enrolled under the Tech 21 educational model. To meet the objective, an evaluation instrument was designed based on the social cognitive career theory model, from which information was obtained to know the opinion and attitudes of female students in five main areas, personal, internal beliefs, objectives, current performance, and environment. The methodology consists of seven different stages, as shown in the figure. For the instrument, we establish five assessment sections. Personal and belief identify the student's background, basic information, and personal perception before the beginning of their professional studies. Objectives and performance identify feelings of satisfaction, confidence, and motivation about academic performance during the college years. And finally, environment identify academic performance among peers and teachers. Although the School of Engineering and Science in Tecnológico de Monterrey had a record of 1,500 female students enrolled, we decided to make implementation only in three campuses, Monterrey, Mexico City, and Puebla. After the implementation, we received 308 responses. The participation per campus was around 40%, and Campus Monterrey had the greatest participation. Once the answer had been processed, we analyzed the means of the response on each campus. The result shows that the lowest mean was in the category of belief following by the performance category. These results identified an opportunity area in high school education since 60.1 of the female students at Campus Monterrey indicate that they had no participate in mentoring programs before. Some of our conclusions are 1. The development of mentoring program has been established as a way to increase women participation in STEM careers. 2. It's imperative to determine the basis for constructing efficient mentoring programs. 3. In the context of Mexico and the information analysis of Tecnológico de Monterrey, we identified a dropout rate during the first two years of 5.7%. Four, the instrument, which was divided into five different categories, made it possible to identify important aspects such as the educational programs with greater participation. And finally, five, to demonstrate commitment, we will conduct a more in-depth analysis of the factors underlying the different questions that comprise this instrument.